G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do three flip cups today. And I'm just doing over the top of this canvas that I've used previously. This is a 50 centimeter by 60 centimeter canvas. Um, I'm going to do a pour similar to the one I did with the Liquitex Basics paints a couple of days ago. Um, I used the densities on the Liquitex paints to, to do my pour. Today I'm just going to go back to my old favourites, my global paints. These are much cheaper than the Liquitex Basics. Um, now you get 500 grams for about $18. The even cheaper one they're two for one. The Liquitex was um, about ten or eleven dollars for a, a little tube, so this is much more cost effective. Uh, today I'm using Floetrol and I'm using it two parts Floetrol to one part paint, and then I'm also going to be adding one teaspoon of isopropyl per 100 grams of mixed paint. So in each cup, I've got 100 grams of Floetrol and 50 grams of paint. So I'll use about one and a half to maybe two teaspoons of isopropyl and I'm also going to put five drops of treadmill silicone in each colour. So I'm just going to put the, the isopropyl I just put in this little squeeze bottle, just makes it easier for me to measure out a teaspoon. Put a teaspoon in each and I'm putting it in the white as well because I want the consistency to be the same in all the cups. If I don't do the white, then the white's going to be thicker. I'm just going to add an extra little splash because I'm going to do one and a half teaspoons in each. Stir it in really well. This is my cool blue. This paint is generally a little bit thicker. I have to mix this one three parts of flow troll to one part paint. Navy. This is cool blue, dash of black, dash of cobalt to make navy. And this one is cobalt blue. I have to mix the alcohol in really well. You can actually feel the plastic on the sides getting quite warm when you mix the alcohol in. It's a strange reaction. Pale aqua. Aqua mixed with white. Uh, I think it's about 80 grams of turquoise and about 50 grams of white. And I am doing two navy because I really like the way the navy reacts. I get the best cells out of navy. Navy with the lighter colours works the best, I've found. So I've got two cups of navy. Now I'm going to put the treadmill silicone in all the cups, except white. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. probably six actually in each and I'm just going to give them a little three turns one two three one two three don't want to mix it in too much I want big cells so I'm not going to mix it in too much okay Now I'm going to start layering these cups. I'm not going to be layering terribly gently. Just sort of going to pour it in. And I do want navy in the bottom of all of them. So in goes the navy. Now for this size canvas, I'm going to need about 900 grams. So I'm going to put three, six, nine. So 300 grams in each. Pour that in. A little bit different in each cup. 
still will have all the same colours but they'll just be in different orders. A little bit of white. More navy. Has that got any aqua in it yet? I don't think so. Let's put some aqua in that one. So putting the isopropyl in with the paint, I do think it helps create cells because it's light and it comes up to the surface. It also does make the paint a little bit thinner. And a slightly thinner mix will give you bigger cells because the paint can stretch more. So your cells will stretch more, giving you bigger cells. And I found every time I use the isopropyl, I get really nice cells. I'm gonna make sure I've got the same amount of paint in each cup. Oops, finish that off. Hopefully it's not going to be too dark with all this navy. And a little bit of white. Just to finish off the white. I haven't actually made up any extra paint so hopefully I've got enough. Normally I have a little bit of extra paint to cover my sides but I don't today. Now the other thing I'm going to do is just, I put my Floetrol in this container, makes it easier. I'm just going to splash a little bit of Floetrol on the canvas just to make it wet, help the paint slide a bit. You can put down a coat of paint but you know, extra paint, extra cost, more weight on your canvas. The flow troll works just as well. Okay, one, two, and three. Just let them sit for a minute. So when I lift the cups, I'm going to drag them down to try and cover the canvas. Really dirty gloves today. I've been doing a few little experiments without silicone, getting some lovely cells without silicone. And I don't know if you can see this here. Um, nice cells popping up there already. Okay, let's do this. So lift and pull back. Oops, that didn't work terribly well. That's better. Let's put some extra paint on the corners. These corners are always difficult to cover. A little bit of extra paint in there if I need it. Lots of cells popping up. I'm not going to torch because there's plenty of cells. They're quite big, so we'll just get to stretching these. To use this just to try and catch a bit of paint. Don't want to lose it all over the edge.
just help that along. Put a little bit on the corner here. Help that along. Turn that around. Okay, tilt the other way. Plenty of paint on the canvas. Forgot my puppy piddle pads to put underneath just to stop the middle from sagging. Go. works well. Now I'm going to go for this corner here. Just take your time when you're tilting. No rush. I'm not losing too much over the side as well, which is good. Let's help that along. Over the side, over the corner, and stop. Bring the weight back to the center of the canvas, because it's all here at the moment. You can see where it's moving. We'll bring it back to the center. And then I can go the other way. Just do down the bottom here first. I don't really like that dark bit down the bottom there, so I'll get rid of that. Bring the weight back again to the centre. That's it. And then we'll go to the other corner. Getting the side first, you can see the weight of the paint is just there. down and into the corner. And come back again. really like that bit down there. I must try and get rid of some of that I think. I'll come back this way and then tip over the edge. If you've got enough paint on your canvas you can work it like this. See what you want to keep, what you don't want to keep. If you don't have enough paint on your canvas you have to stretch it too much. If you need to get rid of a section like that little corner there, you'll get rid of that one. Come back. Just 
take the weight into the middle and then that will be it. I'll leave it. Okay, huge cells. Not too dark. I did want it dark with a splash of white, so that's good. And then I'll just do some torching, get rid of any air bubbles and see if any other cells want to come up. There's a few little ones coming up under this navy here. Any more coming up. Silicone's already come to the surface by the looks of it. Getting a few, not many though. A few sides as well when you're torching. any little air bubbles that may be popping up. Right, and I think I'll leave that just as it is. So there you go, still cells um, using the cheaper brand of paint as opposed to Liquitex which is quite expensive. Um, so it's just, I think it's a combination of the alcohol, isopropyl and the treadmill silicone that will give you the cells. So hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.